Hi Montana, day 26 of the legislature. We didn't have business and labor this morning, so going straight to the House floor, we saw bills on everything from water to insurance and anti-bullying, townhouses, radioactive waste, and cigarette tax stamps. We passed a bill allowing you to not have the license plate on the front of your car, which I know a lot of you are already doing. Um, we passed House Bill 95, which increases the access to behavioral health care, meaning there will be more mental health and addiction services opening in places of the state that really, really need more services. It's aimed at suicide prevention and just promoting better mental health in the state of Montana. And we had agreement on both sides. We also passed the bill that's going to help small pharmacies. There's a huge problem right now with big pharmaceutical companies taking some off the top and then when they sell those to the next level in the industry before it gets to your pharmacy, that middleman also scrapes some off the top. And so then they're only the small pharmacies are having to purchase these drugs and dispense them to patients and losing their shirt on them. It's causing small pharmacies to close and we passed a bipartisan bill to help support our small pharmacies in Montana and keep their doors open. In education this afternoon, we heard yet another bill aimed at special education funding. The bill provides an inflationary increase, not this biennium, but for every biennium after that, meaning that when school districts have to set their budget for the next year, they will know that the money they received for special education services is going to increase along with the, the cost of inflation. It's a totally reasonable fix to an issue that this legislature sees every single session. I have a feeling it's going to get put on the table with the other special education funding bills we've seen so far, and it is my sincere hope that in this education committee we'll be able to bring one or more of these special education funding bills off of the table so that we can do what's right for Montana students. When we do, I'll let you know about it. Thanks.